This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Human behavior is an element of inborn and socialization traits. When humans interact, they shape each other's behavior, values, norms, and personal perceptions. According to psychologists, behavior can be defined simply as an expression of one's attitude, perception, values, and beliefs to an act. Human behavior is molded by internal feelings, thoughts, and beliefs. What come out or the acts that humans call behaviors are the end result. Psychologists have accepted that there is a close link between human behavior and attitude. This paper analyzes why behavior influences attitude. Human Behaviors and Attitude An act can be said to have become a behavior when a person has repeatedly acted in a particular direction. According to the literature on human behavior, it is personal but shaped by the external environment in which someone is operating. It is appreciated that human beings develop a particular mode of behavior from factors arising from socialization right from childhood, and these follow them to adulthood. However, attitude follows behavior in some circumstances. Our values, beliefs, and morals are influenced mainly by the society we live in, culture, and hereditary factors. Some situations where behavior can shape our attitudes include Self-presentation or creation of a self-image In this case, a person may be confronted with a situation in which he is expected to adopt certain behaviors that he thought that the behaviors belonged to a specific class of people. He may be role-playing to seek conformity with a specific community or class of people. In the role-playing, he may have his attitudes towards something he is seeing differently changed. For example, the case of a person who feels that the poor are poor because they do not think of ways they can use to gain wealth, then the person may be shooting a certain film in the slums where he interacts with the people and assumes the role of being one of them to get information and shot his movie. At the end of the stay with the slum people, the person learns that life is difficult and the people lack the basics that they need to think and be creative, as he had anticipated they needed to do. Such a person is likelier to change his attitude toward the poor and learn to respect them. Cognitive Dissonance It is not always that people advocate for what they have a positive attitude. They may be the advocators of something they rarely can believe or even do. However, with time, they are conditioning their minds towards the thing, and they will eventually have a changed attitude. Take the example of a person who feels that his employer is not acting well and is a nuisance when such a person is chosen to teach new entrants about the company's core values, ethics, and human resources policies. He or she will offer the positive side of the story, and in the end, he or she will change his or her attitude because of the positive talks engaged. Dissonance after decision for deviant people in society, some consequences are likely to follow them. From the experience they get from the consequences of their deviant behavior, they may be forced to change their attitude. This mostly happens with offenders. The behavior that gets someone to jail may have resulted from inner perception or belief. When such a behavior is punished, the person may change the behavior for the good. On the other hand, if someone was doing good and anticipating some gains, but instead of gains, he got some setbacks, he is more likely to have a negative attitude toward the good behavior. For example, in workplaces, hard work is advocated, and employers promise to compensate, reward, and recognize those people who have outstanding results. Hard work is a behavior. In the case that after the successful satisfaction of the employer, an employee is not rewarded or, in a worse situation, someone who had not done as much gets credit, then the hard worker is more likely to develop a negative attitude towards working hard as well as his employer. Self-perception After being engaged in certain behavior that someone thinks is good, what follows is a self-reflection of the decision as well as the behavior and the results of our actions. If the act injured someone who had not been anticipated or unjustified, someone feels a sense of guilt that can change his attitude towards the act. 
For example, a teacher who supports the punishment of students may change his perception after punishing a student, and then the student faints. The teacher may feel responsible for the act, and his attitude towards canning completely changed. When attitude follows behavior, a person must have a reflection of the actions undertaken, and if there is cognitive dissonance, the change of attitude is likely to follow. If you want to find more works like this essay on why does our behavior affect our attitudes, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of free samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects. No registration required to access it.